Pontiac Tower, Seneca 293 Zero Yankee, hold short to some right, ready for takeoff at northeast bound. Seneca 293 Zero Yankee, Pontiac Tower, right turn approved, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Right turn approved, to some right, clear for takeoff, there's your Yankee. Build me up, break me down, never come around. You say I left, wasn't right, we're just making around. Speed it up, slow it down, crash. That's the Falcon taking off. Sick jet. Yep, there she is in the back of the tarmac. That little one seater. Keep going. Um, right by that brown sign. Ladies are cargo planes. Some of them, a few of them are private. Can I park right here? Yeah, if you want. Let's go flying. Today we're going to jump in the Seneca. We got the six seat twin. Woo! Look at that. It's a fun little twin. It's about 155 true airspeed. So we get up to Traverse City about 50 minutes if we wanted to. Cool. Right on, man. We're going to be flying a lot slower than that, though. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, we should come around this side. Start dialing everything in. What's so. cool about this is we take this plane and go coach goalies all around Michigan. So, for instance, Brandon Halverson in Traverse City, we're going to take this plane, we're going to fly up there, and we coach a couple of our guys that aren't necessarily in the Detroit area. We'll hop in here, go watch them play. We might train them. Easier way to get up north and drive in five hours. And it's a much cooler way, I think. It's, it's a cool way to travel. Yeah. But, I mean, realistically, it is a business tool. It allows us to get where we need to go, point A to point B. You know, when some of our goalies are playing and bouncing around on the East Coast, the AHL, the different colleges, this allows us to do make a, what would be a weekend in a day. Yep. You know, we could fly up, see them, train them, come back. So, super easy. Take a spin around the plane, you know. This is what you call the ass of the plane. Like, when you look at this, it's like a little sardine can. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's literally just a little sardine can. The one that we've flown before, what's it called, a Seneca or this, a this Cessna? Is, this is a Seneca. The other one we flew is a Cessna. So we flew in another plane before, and it was a Cessna, and it's only a, what is it, a four-seater or two-seater? Four-seater. Small four-seat. Real small. It's like a crop duster plane. So this is like the step up. goes a little faster, a little farther. I like how they give me a little, like little steering wheel like I can fly the plane if something happens <laughs> if I go down you better hope he figures it out <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of this a lot of this <laughs> a lot of this a lot of oh my god <laughs> yeah keep this in mind for you guys who are flying with me if ever you get into a situation where something happens to me the first thing you do is turn this dial here to 121.5 okay it'll, it'll be up here I'll show you again when the plane's going that is the emergency broadcast frequency for flying. You fly, you hit that, you'll be on the uh, the Coast Guard frequency, the emergency frequency. And then they're going to give me a step-by-step -step They're They're going to try. Okay. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> and, that, and that's when I say, hell no. Hell no. I've been flying since I was seven. Knock on wood. He's been flying since he was seven. I've been flying commercial since I was five. So that gives you an idea of how much we're working with here. Tango Foxtrot Niner. Um, we're going at about 16 knots, about 100 and 130, you know, crosswinds going. Uh, um, yeah, you, I mean, you get the idea. I could fly this plane if I really wanted to. It's like driving a car, but just a really big, expensive car that goes. It is, it is like driving a car. You push down, the houses get bigger. You pull back, the houses get smaller. <laughs> good to know. Very good to know. Just doing a little pre-flight, checking the engines. You want to go over the plane as much as possible because we have a special relationship with gravity. So if something's not working right in the plane, you want to know about it now. So right here, they plug that in to keep the engine warm. You just go through, you check a lot of the ports, check your fuel, check all the fasteners, make sure everything's in. I'll go around and check the landing gear and do the same thing, repeating the other side. We just do a complete walk around of the plane. The, these planes are extremely redundant and they're also extremely simple. Okay, So it's hard for things to fail, knock on wood, but if they do, you just turn into a heavy glider and you glide down. So it may not be the smoothest of landings, but glide they'll get you down safe. Or just plumb it to your death, right? That's a nice way to put it. Such the optimist in you, Rick. <laughs> I believe. That's actually really cool. What are some of the cool trips you've been on for hockey with this uh, flying? Oh, let's see. Went to go see Brandon Halverson in South Carolina. 
Um, make regular trips across the state in and around Michigan. Uh, my favorite trip to make is to go to Traverse City because it's just such a great vacation town. It's a quick 45 to an hour flight up, land right at the field, and get picked up, get an Uber, get a rental car, they'll drive the car right up to the plane. You know, but as far as other trips, I've flown down to Key West, New Orleans, did that one in May. Really can go time. anywhere. Yeah, I mean, there's, 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 nothing limi yeah, there's, there's nothing limiting you from where you can go other than just the flight plan. Just time and money, man, it's just time and money. I think it's a common misconception, right, that it's very expensive to go and fly around. Like when people think planes like this, they think, oh, I gotta be a baller, I gotta be a millionaire and, and fly a private jet, but isn't it a lot like owning a car almost, right? It is, if you can afford a boat, you can afford a plane. The, uh, there's, there is a big, big misconception with how much it actually costs. Now this costs more than a lot of the planes because you got two, two engines burning twice as much. But you know, you get a little piper like that, you know, even a single engine six seat. You know, my Cessna, I bought a quarter share for 8,500 bucks. It's 20 bucks an hour to fly plus fuel. So your operating costs, I mean, to own it's about a thousand bucks a year for hangar and insurance and 60 bucks an hour to fly it. You know, it's, it's, it's like it, owning a car. It's like owning an expensive car. You know, if you can have a, a, a Lincoln Navigator, one of the new ones, uh -huh. you can have a plane. So it's, it's, it's one is, of the misconceptions. Which if you get is crazy, because like I said, you think of like, I got to have all my rapper friends hopping into a, a big private plane with stacks of money, but really we're balling out of budget here, you know? Clear! What's that? I like this plane a lot better. Yeah, you got a lot more room. Or 227 left taxi via Charlie. Okay, uh, 27 left via Charlie, 5 Delta Fox, thank you. This actually wouldn't be a bad plane to take to Key West, or? No, it's not. It's just it would be a little slow. Like this. That's all right, though. I and mean, for its category and class, it's not the best because it doesn't have the altitude hold, but. Right. Pontiac Tower, Seneca 293, Zero Yankee, hold short, Tucson right, ready for takeoff at northeast bound. Seneca 293, Zero Yankee, Pontiac Tower, right turn approved, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Right turn approved, Tucson right, clear for takeoff, there's your Yankee. Seatbelts, let everybody locked and loaded, ready to go. Yeah. Doors closed. Yep. That's all. <laughs> It's showtime. Yeah. It's showtime. Like I said, it will be a little bumpy today because of the weather pattern. <laughs> I would go up I would go up to uh, smoother altitude above the clouds if we were traveling. We're not traveling, so suck it. So I get the stabilizers. Yeah, right? I see why this handle's here. Be a lot of the, wood. the ocean. Yeah, if, if you're calm, I'm calm. Oh, this is not <laughs> exactly. me. There, there's some trips where I took a trip to, to DC actually, and uh, it didn't matter what altitude I was at, I, I just could not get away from the turbulence to the point where, I, like, it wasn't even worth flying. Right. It was just a miserable flight all around. Oh, can't imagine. It was just miserable. So, just in case, uh, if you guys see any traffic, okay, always keep your eyes out, always keep scanning. But if you see any traffic. Uh, we use the clock system, just like normal, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then you just call out low, middle, or high, and hopefully I can see it. And if I can't, hopefully I don't hit it. That would be nice. So is this, this isn't the orchards, is it? Uh, very well could be. I think it looks that like That is it. the orchards. No, you, that is the orchards, for sure. We navigate by golf course, if you haven't figured that out yet. So how does it work if we were to go to like, London, right? And we were to fly in. It's the flight plan. So it's you gotta fly. tell them that I'm, what, like how does customs work? Like, um, It depends on the airport, but generally speaking, all you do is you land and they have a special spot you park. Uh, you shut the engine down, a ramp engine comes out, check your passports and you taxi to wherever you want to taxi to. Oh shit. Yeah. So we're gonna cruise a little slower here. We got the wind at our back, so we're still gonna get a nice little ground speed, but uh, for tourism purposes, going over the city, we're gonna wanna get a little slower. Slow ride. Hey, giddy. Hey. Yeah. 
Canadian airspace starts at the other side of Belle Isle, but I'm gonna fly the river right down the middle, hugging the airspace. Gotcha. That's why I always like talking to Detroit City Airport is because if we hug the airspace a little too tight, uh, it's okay because we're talking to them, so we won't get in trouble. And again, air Canadian airspace is not a problem if you're IFR. I, I used to fly over Canada all the time. Uh, on trips to Ohio, I used to fly right over Lake Erie. You fly over the uh, southern point of Ontario, it's great. They're making our third inbound here. Don't worry, we're gonna fly real close to the rent set. So number two nine three zero Yankee traffic ahead to your left. Assess that two thousand two hundred feet heading uh, east on the river. Traffic say three zero Yankee. Three zero Yankee, Roger. I saw him. I come up. I'm like, where the what? Who is flying the river? <laughs> Dark time. There she is. That's what I love about ADSB is it tells you where the the traffic's coming from. Now we'll fly right through the spears of the Ambassador Bridge. Good old Joe Lewis. <laughs> Yeah, they're already talking about how they're gonna tear it down and everything else. Really? Yep. I mean, those would be nice apartments, but still sad. Look at this pizza guy on this building. <laughs> City Tower Center got 293 Yankee. We appreciate the help. We'd uh, like to transition back to uh, straight northbound if possible. Center to 30 Yankee, proceed on course. Proceed on course, 30 Yankee. Connect Tower Center got 293 Yankee. Has came back 15 miles to the southeast inbound landing. Full stop parking DCT. Then I get three zero Yankee. No need to spare it off. You can angle straight for the numbers. Runway two seven right. Angle straight for the numbers. Two seven right. Three zero Yankee. Second sixty four thirty six. You'll see traffic on uh, right base to final. He's for the parallel runway. Don't overshoot final, please. Sixty four thirty six. Syndicate 3 zero Yankee, if unable, keel, expedite down to Lima. If unable, keel, expedite down to Lima. Traffic short funnel behind. Expediting down to Lima, 3 zero Yankee. Hot turn. <laughs> All right. Get out of the way. Traffic not available. Oh, just in time. He was right on your ass. <laughs> That's why he told me not to square off, which normally they want you to square off. Right. It's not a bad way to travel. Come six four thirty six, plenty of ground. Text to be Charlie and uh, no security. Go? No, nothing. No there. No where you want, when you want. So that's uh, flying around with EGD. Pretty cool way to get from point A to point B in lessons, um, lessons, camps, you name it. We'll fly there. It's a lot of fun today, Jeremy. Thank you for flying us around today. We're going to do more stuff throughout the year of just flying to different places, but pretty cool way to get around. Look how easy that was. Like Another it. day in life.